Today marks the anniversary for one of the worst crimes in New Mexico history. Six years ago, the bodies of 11 women were found in Albuquerque's West Mesa. Action 7 News reporter Laura Train tells us what police know about the murders today and what they're still trying to sort out. It was a gruesome discovery made on February 2, 2009. A person walking a dog in southwest Albuquerque found a bone, which led to a mass grave, the bodies of nearly a dozen women. Daniel Valdez's daughter, Michelle, was one of the victims. I miss her. I miss her terribly, and so does uh, the whole family. It was here in the West Mesa by 118th Street where police say a possible serial killer buried the 11 women. But now, six years since the discovery of their bodies, that killer's identity remains a mystery. We can't manufacture evidence. We can't make people talk to us. Um, we've got to proceed with good quality police work and investigative work. Albuquerque Police spokesperson Tanner Tache says one detective works full time on this case. He tells us police continue to receive a steady stream of calls with tips on who the killer could be. You can only call a case cold when every bit of possible lead has been dried up. He says at any one time, police are investigating between five and 20 persons of interest. And while no arrest has been made, he says the case of the West Mesa murders is far from closed. Laura Terrain, KOAT, Action 7 News. Anyone with information about the victims or potential suspects, call the 118th Street Task Force at 1-877-765-8273.